A cold war is about to escalate between Saudi Arabia and Iran. Religious history and crude oil are its catalysts. Even though they are Islamic countries, they are different in many ways. Hello everyone, this is Kreena Shah from Polymer Update and today we will talk about the rising tensions between Saudi Arabia and Iran. The war is not new. The two countries have been fighting proxy wars over several years now. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, jailed rival princes and other wealthy businessmen of his country and a missile screamed towards the airport of Riyadh, the kingdom's capital. The Saudi government claims that it was an Iranian missile launched by Hezbollah from territory occupied by the Houthis in Yemen and that it was an act of terror. However, Iran shunned down its arguments. The resignation of Lebanese Prime Minister Saad Hariri has escalated the situation even more. Lebanon was an ally of Saudi Arabia, but now that Hariri has resigned, Iran holds a stronger foothold in the region through Hezbollah. These inflicts clashes between Saudi Arabia and Iran and the victim of this proxy war will be Lebanon. Syria is another reason of tensions between the two countries. Iran supports Syrian President Assad, whereas Saudi Arabia is with the citizens. In some way, Syria is also the victim of proxy war between Saudi and Iran. Yemen has also been a prey of the two nations. In 2015, Saudi Arabia had hoped for a quick and decisive victory when it led an armed attack in support of the country's president, Mansour al-Hadi. Instead, it came down in a costly war of attrition with the Houthis, a Shia sect which has much closer ties with Iran. In spite of being Islamic countries, Saudi Arabia is predominantly Sunni, whereas Iran has a large Shia population. And this difference has led to tensions between the two nations. Saudi Arabia is home to Mecca, the holy site where Muslims perform their pilgrimage known as the Hajj. The Iranians allege that the Saudis discriminate against or mistreat Shia pilgrims. However, a war with Saudi Arabia is the last thing Iran wants. Attacking the holy place of Islam, Mecca and Medina would be akin to propaganda suicide in the Islamic world. After the 2015 nuclear deal, Iran has reached a global superpower influence and its hold in the Middle East and region is also increasing. However, Saudi Arabia is backed by a global superpower, the United States of America, and that says a lot. The events in the past week have led to fluctuations in the crude oil market. OPEC, spearheaded by Saudi Arabia, holds a strong position when it comes to oil prices. Saudi Arabia holds almost double the number of oil reserves as compared to Iran. Any internal conflict in the kingdom leads to a price change. Saudi Arabia and Gulf allies Kuwait and the UAE have ordered their citizens to leave Lebanon and avoid travel there as Saudi Arabia accused Lebanon of declaring a war on the kingdom earlier this week, citing the presence of Iranian-backed Hezbollah members in its government. This has led to supply cuts of oil from major exporters which have led to a price rise. Saudi Arabia needs oil prices to be around $85 in the longer term, but right now it has a reserve fund of some $700 billion, so they can withstand a lower price for some time. If Iran and Saudi Arabia go to war, the results will be dreadful and the global oil prices will shoot through the roof. We can only hope that the two nations settle the differences with dialogue and that there is world peace. Let's wait and watch.